Okay, here we are. We're going to make part two of building canoe today. If you can look out the window there, we're getting our first snow of the season. Doesn't look like it'll amount to much. Someone here is standing next to me hoping it snows enough that school shuts down. Judy's up at the house fixing uh, spaghetti. We have guests coming over for dinner, so today we have a guest videographer. It's Miriam, our granddaughter, who's just moved in next door. So uh, if you see the camera drop on the floor, it's not going to be my fault. Okay, here we are. This is where we left off the other day. Now comes the big, uh, the big question. Will everything spring apart when I remove the clamps? So let's take off the first one here. So far, so good. We're working good. I don't hear any creaks or cracks. Stuck a couple little blocks in here to hold the thing apart, just in case. Now we're going to find out what happens. Well, lucky there. So we have our canoe. So now the next step is to put the bottom in. Uh, set that aside. We're not really don't really need that anymore. Well, I've got me another piece of half inch uh, basswood here which we're going to use to make the bottom and to do that I just set this thing on here like this got a bump there somewhere and we get a knife and I think it's just a glue ball here set up yet. So just keeping that in place. And draw around the interior of this thing. Like that. Give me the shape of the inside of the canoe. Now I'm going to take this over and uh, cut it out on the bandsaw. And again, you don't need to see that because I've done it a hundred times before. Okay, got that piece cut out. Now it's kind of a little odd here, but that's okay. This won't show once we get the whole thing together. So let's just make sure, see, see what happens here. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so now we got our bottom in. Now, granted, the canoe doesn't have a flat bottom like that, but we're not worried about that because we're going to build this thing into a seam, so most of this will be under the surface of the water we'll create, okay? And also, in clamping it, you'll notice that my clamp, by putting a lot of pressure on those clamps, has made an indentation here. Well, once everything is thoroughly dry, and it's still not dry, it's glued in some spots, it's kind of soft, uh, we'll get rid of that. But again, like I said, we're going to embed this into a scene, so uh, most of this stuff will not show once we're done. So, right now what I need to do is uh, glue the edges. So I'm going to use Type Bond 2. This is sort of a water resistant. It's not waterproof, but it's water resistant. So I'm just going to put a bead of this right along the inside lip here. Like that. Flip that over. Right, right, I guess it just 
get it on there right. There we go. Okay. So we got that on there. Now just for safety's sake, I'm going to squeeze a little more glue. On the inside there. I'll just use my finger to mash it down into the seam. And again, don't worry about the mess I'm creating here on the bottom of this canoe because that's all going to be covered up with figure and the load he's going to be carrying. I think he just shot a moose, so we're going to see if we can't do something new that I learned up at the Dayton show and make a moose horns. It's fun to come up with new ways to do stuff. Okay, so we got our bottom all glued in there. And just for safety's sake, I'm going to put a clamp back on. told me yesterday. There we go. Okay, so now the only thing left to do is let it set till tomorrow and then we'll, I think it'll be completely safe to where we can take this thing apart. So until next time I'll talk to you later and thanks Marion for helping me make my video.